My grandpa Asa used to make the same exact speech over and over. And then my dad and uncles, they used to all make fun of him and do the same thing. <laughs> then he'd get really mad. <laughs> Guess you had to be there. Shane, you okay? Yeah, I was just wondering, who's my grandpa? Yeah, who is his grandpa, Roxy? Did, did Mom change her mind about coming down? Ah, uh, no, sweetie, she's still not up to it. You know, it's just all those people that remember her or that are going to be here that she has no memory of. Yeah, I get that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. It's me. She doesn't remember me. So, so this kid, she doesn't even know it's this big mess. You're not doesn't... a mess, okay? God, Cole, you're not a mess. You're grieving for your baby. That's all, and that's okay. It's an okay thing to do. I think, I think I should just take off. I'm just going to bring everyone down. Uh, Cole, don't go. Uh, so you're giving me orders now? Cole. No, I meant don't go before I've had a chance to apologize to you. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I tried to make you feel as if you owed me something, which, of course, you don't. Okay, it's fine. But you didn't back down. In fact, you told me that you weren't afraid of me. I'm still not. I know that. Legally, this house belongs to Nora. Oh, what, do you want me out? No, 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 no. What I was going to say is, I always think of this house as belonging to Asa Buchanan. Cole, I know what you've been through for the past few days. You've handled the death of your child like a man. You're helping your mother as a man should. And you know something? I think Asa would really like you. And I think he'd be very happy to know that you and your mother are living in this house. Thirsty, because Foxy Roxy has just whipped up a batch of my own original creation. Oh, Roxy, you know what? I think I'm just going to stick with the beer. All right, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, whatever floats your bloat. I'll try one. Thanks. Great. Does it need sweetener? No, no, it's really sweet. Thanks. Man, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah. I think this is gin and chocolate syrup. You're real nice to your mom just now. Uh, yeah, well, maybe having a kid of your own makes you go easier on parents in general. <laughs> Where is this famous turkey? Oh, I just called the caterer. And, and they're on their way. They're, they're swamped, but he promised me they're on their way. I, I swear. So that was your grandpa? Yeah. I never even had a grandpa. I, I guess. Uh, can anybody uh, listen up for just a minute here? <laughs> First, I'd like to say... How much it means to everybody to have you here, Renee. Thank you, Bo. Uh, and I also like to thank that guy right there, you in the black shirt. I'd like to thank you for being a, a great friend when I when I really needed one. Son Matthew, thanks for being a better kid than you are a shortstop. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. This guy's a great, great shortstop. Thanks, son. <laughs> you, Shane. I want to thank you for uh, helping my friend Balsam find his way back when he had every reason in the world to, to give up. Good work, Shane. And Roxy, you, you know what? You showed me what real strength looks like. I mean, you, you always really hang in there, even if you're scared to death. You too. Hey, Cole. Just want to say, God bless you for having to handle what nobody should ever have to handle. I just want to say how much it means to me to have you all here. Such good friends and the family that I love so much.
Hi. Uh, Natalie told me to come over, so I said okay. Surprise, surprise. So that I could say to everyone that, look, I don't expect to be part of this family, and uh, I know what I did to all of you, especially to you, Renee. So if you'd like me to leave, I will go. But if he leaves, I leave with him. Oh, that that's the caterer, I hope. Excuse me. Is it always like this? <laughs> cool. Renee, the ball's in your court. Yeah, but you can't go. Your father needs you, your brother needs you, your nephew. I don't want to go, but if Jared goes, I go. Stand by your man, huh? Yeah, kind of like you. Yes, but my man never did anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're safe. Thank you. Thanks to Jared. He really took care of me. And I love him. And he is the luckiest man in the world. Right? Right. Good. Right. Good. You can stay. Okay. You know, you may not be a Buchanan, but you sure as hell behave like one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I want to introduce to you our fabulous caterer, Lloyd, who baked our fabulous Thanksgiving dinner. Which unfortunately is still in the van, which slipped off the driveway and went into Ace's moat. But we got the glazed carrots. My mom worked there with glazed carrots. Mo? Noel? Hey, little man! Oh, you have grown a foot. I swear it. Hey, you guys. Have you met my dad? Small. 